Okay, our next step is hole machining. So it's made quite easy in Sprutcam. So I first of all I will double click uh, of the one of the holes. So I have four of them selected and press uh, holes new new operation holes hole machining. So this is uh, this is uh, Sprutcam is trying to find the most suitable suitable tool from the tool library, but I will click OK and I will change the tool because I'm using another another library, not a default one, but this metric low carbon steel. So I will use the filter to find the drills, and I'm looking for a 10 millimeter drill. That's it, and press select for the operation. Okay, nice. So next uh, thing is that you can see that there are two stages of the uh, of every hole. So I will change a little bit top and bottom level. In order to do this, I go to job assignment, select holding shift key, select all the holes, and I will do two things. First, I will increase my top level in order to make the tool not hit the uh, the part and next i will uh, move my z minimum level in order to make the cylindrical part come out of the workpiece like this you can see i can by the way i can see the the sketch of the tool in order to define the best suitable uh, height for me so another way to do this is go to um, uh, yeah, is go to properties here, and here we have Z levels also. Okay, so run, and that's it. Pretty pretty easy. So of course we have different settings for drilling types here. <clears throat> you can check them and explore them by your own. But next, now I will make. <coughs> machining of this uh, this area so in order to do this I will uh, double click this part of, of the part this element of the part cylindrical surface and create new 2d contouring operation so I can see that it has chosen 6 millimeter cylindrical mill I will change it to 8 millimeter so I go back to low carbon steel and uh, check uh, the tool type filter to cylindrical mill. So I will choose 8 millimeter for this. Okay. Okay, very nice. Switch to job assignment. Now I will adjust engage and retract in order to make my tool first go down through the center of the hole and then make hole machining like this you can see that all the uh, all the other, other holes now have the same engage and retract because this button is turned on so if i turn it off i will be able to edit all the elements uh, one by one Okay, that's it. Basically, I will press run. Let's check the simulation. By the way, I didn't check the simulation previously. Let's go here. Simulate up to current. First, we will simulate our whole. Uh, sorry, not roughing waterline. Just a second. Reset. Simulate up to current. Okay, here's our whole machining. And here is our second part of the whole machining that's it so nothing complicated very easy to do so that's it <laughs>